Hello guys, welcome to or back to my channel. Welcome to another video from our series which is all about becoming the Emirates Cabin Crew. Today is all about your makeup look which we are going to create. Um, it's very simple, very professional, well put together makeup look. If you're a beginner, if you're a pro, <laughs> if you're a makeup guru, I hope you find this video helpful and maybe you'll get some tips from me, some inspiration uh, on how to look good and presentable at your interview. So let's just start. So let's start with makeup. Um, so first of all, I have a little friend with me today, which is sitting right here. It's a sty eye. If you've never had it, it's like an eye infection. It comes and goes in a couple of days. Um, so that's what we're working with today. But you know what I thought? Like this can happen before you go for an interview. Like this can actually happen and you cannot really reschedule the interview, but you can do everything you can <laughs> to still look good and presentable and you know, not having your eye to take all the attention. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite products to do kind of like an everyday makeup look uh, because I believe you don't want to be doing like a full glam for your interview. You definitely want to be using products that you already know, that you're familiar with. You don't want to run to the drugstore and buy a brand new makeup that you've never used before because that can end in a disaster. <laughs> you're not gonna feel confident, uh, the color might not be right, you, you get me, you understand. Of course, things can happen, you will have some situation, emergency, whatever, and you just have to run to the drugstore and buy everything new, you know, in order to do your makeup, hair, whatever. Once it happened to me that I had to go and buy a blouse for my... Uh, it was an interview for a private jet airline. <laughs> I can actually talk about it if you guys want to, because I've actually done an interview in uh, Switzerland for a private jet airline, which was very different from, from what we're doing today. Um, but yeah, I actually had to go and buy a blouse in Geneva, which was kind of crazy. It was like half an hour before the interview. Anyway, so so first of all, I'm gonna be using this Claire's um, Illuminating Supple Blemish Cream, SPF 40, uh, just under my eyes. Because I know this product really well. I've had it for like two years now. It's absolutely amazing. And it's just gonna brighten up the area under my eyes, but nothing crazy, you know? Um, because I know it works and it doesn't make any creases or anything. I feel quite good using this product. I'm just gonna be a bit careful with my sty eye. So I'm not gonna be putting too much makeup on there. Done. <laughs> As I said, nothing crazy. This makeup should really look... Um, Oh, I'm gonna put some on my blemishes too, actually. This makeup should really look natural, but also like well put together. You wanna be wearing foundation, 100%, or uh, like a good BB cream, CC cream, whatever. Um, because that is the standard. If you get the job at Emirates, you have to be wearing foundation, you have to be wearing mascara, red lipstick of course and then you have to be wearing some kind of eyeshadow or eyeliner or both that is if things didn't change since i left that is the standard for the airline so it makes all the sense to do the same for your interview um, just so you can show them that you know how to apply makeup um, or even if you don't know you know you can kind of practice at home which I would highly recommend if you're not really skilled at makeup, you don't really wear makeup every day. It doesn't mean that you have to do, you know, like a full on makeup when you go there. Um, but just do something, do something light, but practice so you don't look like a clown and, you know, you don't end up with this like YouTube famous, you know, conceal, like bright white concealer and the bronzer and all that. You want to stay away from that, you guys. Um, 
we're, this makeup is gonna be really, really like simple. Okay, so for my foundation, I love to use, for example, this one, a Rimmel, what is it, Wake Me Up? I think now they changed the name, Lasting Radiance. Okay, there you go. Rimmel Lasting Radiance, but I'm actually on the bottom, so I'm not gonna be using this one today. Another really good one is the, oh, this is a bit messy. Oh gosh, okay. Another good one is the L'Oreal Age Perfect. This is another quite uh, lightweight, but good coverage makeup. Then what I quite like is the Bourjois Healthy Mix, the BB cream. It is a BB cream, but it's really like, as it says, <laughs> a healthy looking uh, makeup. Um, another good one is also this, the Bourjois City Radiance. I don't know if they still make this one. This one is so ugly, I'm so sorry. <laughs> also, this color is too dark for me right now, so I'm not gonna be using that one. Um, if you are from Asia, from Korea or somewhere there. <laughs> the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream is absolutely amazing. You can also use, for example, like a compact foundation. This one is from Moonshot, which is a Korean brand, really nice. Easy for your interview because you can just pop it in your handbag. It has a little mirror, it has a cushion, you just do a little touch up. Throughout the day, you're good to go. Uh, the one that I'm going to be using today is probably this one, the L'Oreal Age Perfect, uh, because I'm quite pale <laughs> and I just want to give myself a little bit of color. So I'm just using a little bit there. And I hope it's not too dark for me. <laughs> But I think it should be okay. I'm using some uh, beauty blender for that, so it looks very natural. I think I'm gonna repeat the word natural a lot <laughs> today because that is really what you're going for. But still, you wanna look very good together. Okay don't feel um don't feel the pressure to wear your red lipstick i actually think um I, i'm not mm, to be honest with you i'm not sure if i have to check i'm not sure if the airline is now asking you to wear the red lipstick for the interview maybe they are i have a feeling i actually saw it a while back on the website i'm not 100 percent sure so if you see they're asking you to wear it of course wear it but if they don't, don't necessarily feel the pressure of wearing the red lipstick um, if it's not your thing. It doesn't mean it's not gonna look good on you. Um, it's just your main focus. I mean, your main thing for the interview is to be and look confident and feel good about yourself. And if, because it's a big day, you know. Um, and if you don't feel good in red lipstick and you've never <laughs> wore it in your life, then this day is probably not the best premiere for that. Um, you know what I'm saying. So, you see, like I have some coverage, but it's nothing crazy. And you really want to make sure you have it. You have it down your neck. I absolutely hate, I hate um, if you can see like the line or you can see that around the hairline, you know, that, oh the color. Anyway, I'm going to put some on my forehead. I'm going to use some kind of lip balm. Uh, it's just going to make your lips super soft before you put, apply any product on them at the end. You probably know this brand from me already. I use it in a couple of other videos. For some reason, it's super famous along cabin crew. <laughs> I don't know, everyone's using it for everything. You break your leg, oh, use a Lucas Papa ointment. <laughs> I just took this eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution. I love Revolution, is it Makeup Revolution? Yeah. Uh, it has lots of neutral shades in there, like your nudes and stuff. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna be using like a blending brush. 
I have these two. They are from Morphe. I'll try to like link it down below or something. Be a proper influencer. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna be using this one, the secret shade. It's kind of light brownish. Um, my other two favorites are After Dark, this one here, and In the Buff. So these are quite, you know, nice, light, neutral shades. Obviously, I'm very pale, so I choose these colors, but depending on your skin type, your skin color, you want to go darker, of course. So the eyeshadow is actually, the eyeshadow actually looks good on you. Let me put a little bit in my crease right there and right there. Nothing crazy. If you don't know how to apply your eyeshadows, this is exactly what I would recommend you to do. Put it just in the socket right here. And that's it. And leave it. <laughs> if you're not gonna use like a super dark color, you you cannot do any mistake, I feel like. It's just you'll start here and go all the way in, and that's it. And to be honest, if you have a good blending brush, it kind of just does it for you. I might do a little bit more, just a tiny, tiny bit more. Um, I'm actually gonna take this shadow right here, the After Dark, and put a tiny bit in the crease as well. It's a little bit warm. Just like in the middle, and I think that's enough. That is just enough. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit right on the lower eyelid. Is it? What is it? This part down here. <laughs> Done. Done with eyeshadows. One of the most important things for me personally is the eyebrows. Um, normally I use three products. I will use just this one, the spoolie or how you call it, just to kind of brush my eyebrows up. I cannot live without this thing to be honest with you guys. It's just so good. <laughs> I, I always use it for like the baby hair over here. <laughs> then, for some reason, all of these products are from Morphe. I have a pencil and then I also have these two um, eyebrow gels. One of them is clear and the other one has tint in there. Um, this one is really nice with the tint, but you cannot be so precise. So for the interview, I would definitely recommend something that you have more control over, uh, like a pencil. If your eyebrows are naturally dark, full, defined, skip this step and just use like a clear eyebrow gel. Like, why not? My eyebrows are not bad, <laughs> but I have some gaps in there that I want to fill. Um, and also, once I do this, uh, they kind of become darker and I feel like that gives you that well put together look. You can already see how I'm defining the eyebrow right there. Uh, and I'm just gonna like try to draw a couple of hairs on there. And you will see me like I'm gonna brush this whole thing out. Another brow is done. I'm just gonna brush it all up. And out. Of course, <laughs> it doesn't look the same, but that is all good. All right, so we are done with our brows. Uh, I'm gonna be using mascara. This one is the extreme thing from Essence. You guys know I've been using Essence for ages because I naturally have long lashes. Um, but this is a no-brainer. Just use any mascara you have at home. <laughs> And there's a lady sitting on the balcony right in front of me. And I think she's <laughs> watching me doing my makeup. 
I don't care. Um, what I would recommend for an interview is maybe wearing a waterproof mascara. Um, because you don't know, anything can happen, it can rain, you can cry, <laughs> you can laugh and then drop a tear or something. Or you can just like sneeze or have a cold or whatever and your mascara is gonna ruin your makeup look. So if you can, do a waterproof one. We have our, our makeup done, eyebrows are done, eyes are done as you can see exactly what I told you. A little bit of eyeshadow, mascara, you're all good to go. Now, you can definitely do eyeliner. Go for it. If you're eyeliner girl, you do eyeliner every day. You know exactly what to do. I don't do eyeliner every day. And for me, if I have an interview or if I have a big day, for me to do an eyeliner means I'm definitely gonna screw it up. Like 100% I'm gonna do it wrong and then I'm gonna regret it and then I'm gonna remove my makeup to do it all again. Um, no, thank you. I'm not going through that stress. <laughs> Second last thing is your blush. I used to use a lot of powder blushes. They're perfectly fine. But at the moment I'm actually obsessed with these like cream blushes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have this like pinky shade right here. Um, it's probably a little bit too um, bold. But what I do, I always like tap it on my hand like this. And then I tap a little bit and I just kind of go over it like that and you will see from this little dot you will have just a hint of blush right there the makeup I've used as you can see the L'Oreal Age Perfect is kind of semi matte finish so I'm not going to be using any powder over that if you want to I definitely recommend the Laura Mercier translucent powder so this is what we got so far and actually one last last step but um, this is the step you want to be really careful about um, I'm also not sure how the airline what was their opinion on it right now uh, when I used to fly we were not really allowed a lot of highlighter um, especially you know like those trends that they come and go all these bronzers and highlighters all that kind of stuff um, it can look it can look kind of cakey and that's definitely you definitely don't want to do that for your interview so this one oh my gosh the packaging is so so messed up uh, this one is from makeup revolution and this brush is just from DM drugstore <laughs> a random brush also these Sephora brushes are quite nice um, I'm gonna do like a tiny bit because as I said before I think a little bit of glow is okay just don't go overboard um, you don't want to be like shining there like a diamond you know <laughs> so everyone can see your shine on your face so I'm just gonna do like dot 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 and a little bit under my eyebrow like that there you go so now when it comes to lips as I said don't feel the pressure to use red lipstick if you see it on the website or if you see it in your uh, like guidelines you are going to use red lipstick but if not I would go for something nude like so your lips will be visible and they will not like be one color with your skin especially if you normally put makeup over your lips I would definitely do some color there um, I'm just gonna use a pencil which is uh, from Morphe Frenchy is that the color I guess and we'll do this I think I didn't use a red lipstick on my interview did I you guys I have to find a picture I'm gonna insert it here And I think we're done. I think this is our finished makeup look for your interview. I don't know what about you guys, but I feel like this is exactly enough. This is exactly what you need <laughs> in order to look good, look professional, well put together, but don't look like 
over the board too much kind of cakey makeup yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this very easy professional makeup tutorial for your interview uh, maybe you can try it out at home and maybe you can add you know eyeliner red lipstick whatever you feel like and i'll see you in my next video bye